Today I'm going to share how I cured my hypoglycemia naturally. Let's talk about it. Hey health heroes, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel about helping you improve your autoimmune health naturally. And usually on this channel I talk about, you know, how I how I put my autoimmune disease into remission, um, but there are a lot of other things that I did, and I don't usually talk about them because my autoimmune disease, HS, hydrogenitis suppurativa, stage 3, was so bad. It's the third most painful chronic disease that exists, so, I mean, <laughs> forgive me if I forget all the other stuff, like all this other bra brain fog and digestive issues are all, like, second stuff, right? Uh, but hypoglycemia, it did play into it partly because of insulin and just overall hormonal issues. I will get to that in a little bit and I will explain why this works but basically I just want to share what worked for me how I cured my hypoglycemia so as many of you know if you have this it's basically um, a low blood sugar condition your blood sugar has a habit of crashing you get like you start to feel faint um, palm sweaty bomb spaghetti you know all that good stuff like you just you feel like you're gonna pass out if you don't eat for like a few hours and you just uh, you just start sweating profusely and you you feel like you're having a panic attack and and all and with my anxiety issues like that was that was not good right that just like made it all worse this was on my heart to talk about today I just felt like it was the right time like six months ago or a year ago I would have thought well I'm just managing it I didn't really cure it um, and I don't really like saying cure at all so you know maybe I should have used the word fix or uh, or I don't know, I, I don't like reverse either, but um, for, you know, search purposes on YouTube and to help people, this, this is what I chose to go with, so please don't hold that against me. There are two competing, let's call them hormones, right? Insulin and glucagon. Uh, now, when you have too high of insulin from eating too much sugar, your insulin goes up and then it drops, and your glucagon, they don't work together, right? The glucagon is what um, makes you able to utilize your sugar in your blood. Okay, it, it releases it from your liver and your organs, and then you can actually use it. Now, you don't need a lot of sugar in your blood. Um, you just need a very, very small amount. So, with insulin issues, you're going to have too much or too little. It's just going to drop. You're going to utilize it all at one time, and then you're going to have these roller coaster uh, like effects with your blood sugar and you're gonna get sick and and you're gonna have a hard time losing weight and that that played a role in my um, autoimmune disease keeping it steady um, keeping my blood sugar steady uh, helping me lose weight as well I've lost 150 pounds um, and found autoimmune remission obviously like I said but uh, my my fixing my insulin was a huge issue. It's like a, it's all it's like a puzzle, right? Health is a puzzle, and it's like this is just one small piece, all right. But if you're having uh, hypoglycemia symptoms, and you know those are awful by themselves as well, and it does lead to diabetes. So I am not saying this is a fix for diabetes or even hy hyperglycemia. Okay, I don't know. I haven't experienced that. So um, I have heard that people have done the same. Uh, let's call it a protocol and fix that. But I, I can't say that because I didn't experience that myself. I can only speak from my own experience. So, uh, my hypoglycemia, it was bad. I, I seriously had to eat like every couple hours. Um, I, it was so bad. And it, my life is so different now because literally I did that video a while back where I didn't eat for seven days. I just water fasted. Now, I don't recommend that, especially if you're insulin resistant. Like, don't, don't do that. that. That'd be super dangerous. But that just is a testimony to how far I've come. Seriously, going from three hours to like seven days, I just, like, that's how I gauge my um, my healing and how well I've done. I can't go longer than seven days. It was bad. But it wasn't because of sugar issues or blood sugar issues. I just, <laughs> I, was, I, did, I was ready to eat, all right? All right? I was really ready to eat. So, all right. So, uh, let's talk about how we fix our glucagon and insulin issues, okay? We need them working together. Two hormones coming together. We need that balance. A lot of people don't have, uh, can't do that because they're not eating this one particular thing or enough of it. So, uh, basically, I I cut out all sugar. All right, first off, uh, but I didn't I didn't do that right away. It was like a slow slow steady gradually do that. Okay, because if you just cut out all sugar, you might have some major issues, especially if you're not good at um, gluconeogenesis and you have thyroid issues that or you know adrenal system issues. You do not want to do that. Okay, so basically, and don't 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 click away from this video when I say this. I know you're going to be super offended, but basically. It was keto, okay? But let me explain why. Because you're not going to be just able to do regular keto and do this. You may, but you're going to have some issues, okay? So I do a clean 
same keto version, but here's what I had to do. I, I went keto. I had to slowly become fat adapted so I was able to use my ketones, okay, instead of sugar for fuel primarily. So it took me, God, it really took me a long time to do this, guys, because I was really damaged. And if if you're like me, this could take you a while, but it's totally worth it, I promise. It might take you six months like it took me, but uh, there are some tips I can give you for that. And actually, you can watch my other keto videos and um, find some tips there how to actually do keto successfully and make it quicker, become fat adapted uh, faster. So make sure you subscribe for that if you want to see those tips. It seriously works. Like, it seriously works for weight loss, um, healing autoimmune disease, the fastest and natural way possible. But basically, becoming fat adapted, you have to start slowly curbing off. Off your carbs, uh, but mainly more important than the carbs because I eat carbs. Okay, I just eat the right ones. I don't eat simple carbs, and I eat the I eat the simple I eat the complex carbs, but I eat the right ones at the right times, right? And I don't eat too many of them either because I'm not saying carbs are bad, but I'm damaged, so I'm just not able to eat those. Okay, sometimes when you're damaged, you just you have to eat different than everybody. It's different than preventing a disease, right? Although I did prevent diabetes uh, because of this. It took me s probably six months because I did some things wrong. I I wasn't I. I was a newbie to it. I didn't understand. Um, I was still eating, you know, I was eating too many carbs, too much sugar. Um, so eventually I finally lowered that enough and then I, I had to add more protein. Now this is key guys, you want to add more protein. Most people I see are not eating enough protein and I know some people don't like to eat a lot of meat but that's just something you have to do. For me grass fed beef is key, alright, because it has those fat soluble vitamins and it has the good macros, okay. This is like grass-fed beef to me was like the perfect food now it's gonna be different for everybody a little bit but my body just loves it okay just loves it and also wild-caught fish especially salmon I I like it raw personally but uh, <laughs> sushi is great uh, or sashimi I can't I can't have the rice or anymore I don't eat grains of any kind um, but that's that's a side issue um, now that's because of my autoimmune disease to keep it in check I do the AIP the autoimmune protocol it's a restricted version of keto uh, sorry <laughs> paleo I do keto and paleo but I also do AIP and intermittent fasting, which also helps with this, but uh, it's all about uh, burning your ketones and not sugar, all right? So basically, you just, it takes a long time for your uh, body to adapt to burning fat. Like, like we, that's like our default system. Our body would burn fat stores um, for fuel when we didn't have food um, or when we weren't eating too many carbs, right? So you can eat fat and protein and you're still going to be in ketosis. Um, you're going to spike your insulin a little bit with just a small amount or with a larger amount of protein, but that spike is going to be small and short short-lived and it's not gonna like bring your insulin it's not gonna drop your insulin after okay you're not gonna get diabetes from eating meat this isn't a high protein diet okay keto is a high fat diet but you're gonna want to eat the right fats I had to like fat bomb like crazy and only after I did that uh, was I able to be successful on this but I got it through olive oil I got it through coconut uh, cream because uh, that seems to be one of the cheapest ways to get it um, I just found some be uh, grass-fed beef tallow which is great it is expensive but it is probably one of the best fats there are um, as far as nutritional density I really really fought myself on this one whether I'm gonna make this video or whether I'm even gonna talk about it in this way I but I just want you to know guys I fixed this issue like it's gone I have no symptoms anymore I don't have I don't feel faint I don't get all like sweaty and panic and like it's just gone and it, it really is a miracle and for me not to share that would it would be an injustice really I know there's a lot of fads going on and people are scared to try things and and I understand and and maybe you've tried keto and you felt sick for weeks or months and I get that I did too okay I I felt like garbage especially the first two weeks I went on keto like I wasn't fat to death my body was like where's the sugar like give me some freaking sugar <laughs> okay I want it uh, and so I had like no energy for two weeks even for a few months I didn't feel like I was on top of my gang game but like now I don't I don't have caffeine I don't have any stimulants at all and I'm I'm energized I have steady energy throughout the day I don't have highs and lows I I just I'm just moderate okay and that's what I want that's what you want right when you especially if you have sugar issues that's what you want trust me on this okay um, so it, it can take some time you, you're not gonna heal your body overnight like ketosis keto diet isn't gonna like cure you overnight like if you try it for a couple weeks or even a month or two you're probably not gonna do anything because you've been eating this way for your entire life you've been damaging your body and your hormones your entire life and of course other factors are gonna come into play all right 
You want to make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, that's really important with cortisol and other hormones. It's it all plays together. You want to get enough sunlight. You want to get you want to stay hydrated. Some people don't absorb water as well, so you're going to have to you may have to do some you know high water content vegetables and and really absorb a really high mineral content electrolytes. You, it's 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 a there's a whole system to it, okay? And make sure when you're on keto, you're not going low salt, okay? If you're low sodium on keto, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad life. Like, I tried that for weeks, and, like, I was one grumpy cat, all right? I was, I was miserable. The one thing I'm going to tell you, don't eat sugar in the morning, and especially don't eat, like, a high-carb food meal in the morning, especially if you're not having protein with it. You want to eat protein with every single meal, okay? If you're not doing that, you're 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 just you're spiking your insulin and you're not you're not getting your glucagon on level with your insulin you're just you're just you're just damaging yourself even more okay so now it, it can be fine eating small amounts but like I see people eating like lots of fat and sugar together which seems to be really really harmful um, that eating fat and sugar together is not natural okay if you're gonna have fat you need protein with it um, if you're gonna have sugar you're gonna have you need to have fiber with it okay there's a lot of little little techniques but anyway make sure you watch all my keto videos if you found this helpful at all please share this video with somebody that has hypoglycemia seriously you will help them it, it's a good natural treat Good plan. It worked for me. So thanks for watching. See you next time.